In this transmission system video, the contingency analysis function will be introduced and some of its many features demonstrated. Study case O2 contingency analysis should be activated together with scenario base scenario. Contingency analysis is a load flow study of the network in the event of an unplanned outage of one or more elements, for example, a line fault. The analysis can only be executed if there is a valid solution to the base case, so let's first execute a load flow to check this. Contingencies are normally defined using fault cases. An easy way to set up fault cases is to use the contingency definition command found in the contingency analysis toolbox. For example, we could define a fault case for each line in the network. In this project, fault cases have already been defined for all lines and for all bus bars. Fault cases are stored in the fault folder of the operational library. It's also possible to create fault groups, which are groups of shortcuts to fault cases. Now we can set up the analysis that we want to carry out. There are three main calculation methods. The first is a calculation using a full AC load flow. The second is a faster DC calculation, which calculates active power but uses nominal voltages. The third is an AC analysis method that represents the contingency case by using equivalent injections to reduce the flow through the faulted area to zero. This speeds up the calculation, so can be useful for large numbers of contingencies, but it is a more approximate method. Still on the basic options page, the parameters for the load flow can first be adjusted if required. These same settings are also used by default for the contingencies. On this page, limits can be set in order to manage the amount of data recorded. Contingencies are selected using the Add Cases Groups button. We will select the group of line faults. Now the analysis can be run. Look at the grid graphic, which has been coloured according to high and low voltage and loading. Elements on the graphic are each coloured according to the highest loading or largest voltage violation for that element, taking all contingencies into account. However, the results displayed are those of the base case. Standard reporting scripts are available via this icon. There is a range of different reports. Here we will select just the loading violations and execute. The report shows the loading of elements in the base case and post fault sorted according to the post fault loading. Loadings greater than 100% are indicated in red. To see the relevant elements in the network, the mark in graphic function can be used from the report to show the overloaded components or contingency cases. This icon can be used to reload results from an earlier calculation or the results of an individual contingency case into memory. This is a convenient way to look at individual contingency analysis results in more detail. For example, let's select the contingency NEL4. When the command is executed, we can see the recorded post-fault flows on the graphic or in a network model manager. Customized fault cases can also be defined, and a simple way to do this is from a graphic. 
As an example, we can create a double circuit fault on these circuits, which form the interconnection between the northwest and southwest grids. The name can be changed as required. And the new contingency can be selected to run in our contingency analysis. If we now run the report, we can see that this double circuit fault has a significant effect on the network. The last feature that we will look at in this video is dynamic contingencies, which is a way of defining the contingencies to be run based on user-defined criteria. We will remove the previously selected contingencies and instead select this option. Let's assume that we wish to focus on the effects of losing one of the more heavily loaded circuits. We will change the default filter setting to 70. This means that a contingency will be included for any circuit loaded above 70% in the base case load flow. When the calculation has run, we can use this icon to see which contingencies have been executed. And the reports can be run as before. In the next two videos, we look at the use of contingency analysis with remedial actions.